LSU's Tiger Stadium after dark, an environment unlike any other in sports. Very intimidating for visitors. As they say, this is where visitors' dreams come to die. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it, because we'll see the number 15 team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on the ninth-ranked team, the LSU Tigers. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And from deep in the end zone, he'll bring it out. Tackle at the 13, not great field position to start the drop. So Alabama's offense begins backed up here thanks to that forward turn. So here we go. Buckle up. Alabama and LSU. This one has a history of being hard-hitting Kirk from the very first snap. And Chris, it's always a game that obviously impacts the SEC standings at the end of the year and really the national rankings. So a lot at stake for both these teams. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. Last time they played, of course, Alabama won comfortably. That was an embarrassing day for the LSU faithful. They have not forgotten it. Chris, I don't think anybody's going to forget that loss because it was so surprising to see LSU get blown out. But they feel much better about this matchup. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Boy, the defense misses out on an opportunity to get off of the field. They got the offense to third down, and they just weren't able to prevent them from converting. Makes a quick catch. The pickup is five yards, so it's second down and five. Love to see the short passing game as a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable and allows you to see how the defense is reacting. That can open up for other things later on. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. Offense will have to overcome the holding penalty now. Second down play coming up. Off play action. He's looking to throw. He's going to take off here. And the junior decides to pick up the first down himself. Man, nothing is more aggravating for a defensive coordinator than this right here. You've got him. You've got a chance to make a play on him. Take him out of his rhythm, but instead, this guy gets away from that pressure, tucks it, and picks up some big yards. Tackle, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 now. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time, he keeps it himself, and you can see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. That's incomplete. Even on a first down pass attempt, he felt heavy pressure. And completion makes it second down. Dropping back. It's no row. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Early on in a football game, the offense always wants to try to develop just a nice rhythm to the offense. That time, just a simple screen to the running back, and they build some confidence. And is intercepted. Oh, and he fumbles. They scoop up the ball. It's still a live play here. And he's got some open field ahead. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Well, that is an impressive start, Kirk. In an emotional game like this, to be so efficient, to click like that early, is impressive. Well, it's very impressive and a great way to start for this team because all the buildup and all the hype, now you can just settle in and play your game. And now they'll set up for the point after. 
PAT is good, so it's seven nothing. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. So the LSU Tigers offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. Well, a wide receiver, Kirk, this dangerous, who lines up all over the place. Can the linebackers step up and help out the secondary enough today? Yeah, usually you see these matchups. The slot receiver has a big advantage. But I'll tell you, this linebacker is an excellent athlete. But the wide receiver he's covering today will pose a textbook challenge to see if he can truly cover. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Catch made on the left side. And the defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. Offense looking to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. They'll try to run for the first down. Looks like LSU has the first down. Well, that's mono and mono right there. Offensive line knowing exactly their assignment, getting a hat on a hat, and that back threw just exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. Here comes a first down pass attempt. And he's got his man open downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Chris, is it possible to be DBU and wide receiver U at the same time? I think the LSU fans think it's possible. They always seem to... And the freshman making an impact play there. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. First down, Sack pushes the ball back. Second down coming up. And he'll set up to throw. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. And that's a solid return after the interception. Well, this isn't exactly how we envision this game getting started. You see an interception early, you're thinking, okay, great opportunity. Bang, they throw an interception right back. So everything is even. We can start all over, and the offense comes back out on the field. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. From the snap of the ball, it looked like he knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. But the guy just had him blanket it. And he still tried to get the ball squeezed in there. He's got to do a better job of working through his progressions to find that open man. Important third down play coming up after that completion. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. They make the tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Costly hold, nullifies the play, backs him up 10 yards. And this crowd coming to life here, trying to help the defense get a stop with the offense pinned back. Throws it to the right. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They've got him, but not before making first down yards. They'll move the ball to the 41. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. And he stopped after gaining four yards, so second and six. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period.
Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Looking to pass. It's Milrow. He'll take a deep shot here. The downfield shot is incomplete. Brings up third down. The game goes back to 1895, Kirk, but as you know, it's begun to pick up intensity, this rivalry, because they are always in each other's way in the SEC. Yeah, this rivalry doesn't necessarily have the history, even though it does go back to 1895, but you're right. Things seem to change when the SEC split East and West. It became a battle about who would represent the West, the winner typically between Alabama and LSU. It seems like every year from that point on, it's a game we all point to before the season even starts. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Only a short gain in that run. Defense able to pen him in. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with, with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything seems to be working. Coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. And the junior quarterback shows his toughness, keeps this drive moving. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm, but when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. Fights off a defender. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And the defense stops him just short of the end zone. Spotted at the one. How many first downs is that on this drive? This defense allows one or two more drives like this, and they're going to be gassed by the... And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Alabama. So the offense clicking now, Kirk, building the lead, and this one could get out of hand. Well, it's just complete domination. The offense is executing and doing their job, putting points on the board. The defense has shown up prepared, ready to play. It just feels like this game's getting sideways in a hurry. Lining up to try the extra point. The kick sails through, so the lead is 14-0. Now they get set to kick it away. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. An inside give now from the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Offense facing a third and long from the 25. What's the call going to be? Scanning the field. It's Nussmeyer. Looking for his big tight end. It's caught downfield. Tackle finally made, but it's a big gain. Moves the ball to the 48. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. And the tackle is made after a four-yard gain, so second and six. Offense operating at high tempo now, no huddle. And he'll ride the back again here. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. 
Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. The pocket breaking down. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. And the punt team now on to kick it away. This punt heads toward the sideline. Doesn't travel very far. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. Rolling to his left outside the pocket. Grab behind the line. It's Miller. The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what that's about. Quarterback hammered after the throw. That's an obvious 15-yard penalty. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. QB to the tight end for a completion. And the game just good enough for a first down. You know, plays like this are what Alabama offense is all about. They run the football, and then they're efficient within their passing game. Think about it. They won a couple national championships with Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron by just being efficient and playing smart at the position and being a great complement to that running game in the defense. To throw, it's Milrow. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. They try a downfield shot. It's a good effort there, but now it's third down. That ball just seemed to sail on it. you got to make sure to give your receiver a chance to be able to come down with a catch and bounce because in today's game, man, these receivers make catches like this all the time, and if you put the ball out of bounds, you're not going to give them that opportunity. They'll stop him short. The completion gained five yards, but brings up fourth down. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. And the punt heads out of bounds. They're going to spot this very near the goal line. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. Not a whole lot of time remaining before halftime to cut into this lead. And the single back takes the handoff. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front of the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. Getting set. Here's second down. Handoff here from the shotgun. And they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. Timeout called by the defense their first of the half as they try to make some adjustments here. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. We're going to kick it away for the second time. Bringing it back, it's Adams. And the returner will be brought down. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Let's see how efficient this offense can be. They got a chance to add some points here before the break. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Offense getting set. It's second down. Looking downfield, it's Milro. Cut quickly. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. And now the offense will call a timeout. Some of the coach didn't like about this. Crucial play coming up. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. 
On third down, he drops to throw. Defense is coming after him. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. Ball lands at the five. It doesn't check up. Bounces into the end zone for a touchback. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. The Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. All right, Kevin, thank you. We appreciate the breakdown. Alabama will kick it off to start the second half. And so it'll be a touchback, ball spotted at the 25. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. Now begin with a quick throw to the left. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Offense right to the line, cranking up the tempo. Well, it's great to see this quarterback from LSU make that throw and put it right on the money to pick up that first down. And I think that's the big thing that LSU fans want to see is consistency from the quarterback position. There have been moments. They'll be tackled. They'll have to wait and see what this penalty marker is about. Offense moving backwards after that holding penalty. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Catch made over the middle. And they bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the marker. And completion makes it second down. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Nice grab. It's Lacey. Brought down, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49. Still looking for that elusive touchdown, but finally this offense is moving. First down and 10. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And that's a solid game before the defense is able to bring him down. But throughout this game, they've shown a number of their base run plays in the first half, so it's good to mix in the counter here in the second half, just in case the defense is starting to over-pursue. Keep an eye on if they pull that play again, maybe later in this game. They make the tackle, but that's a solid game. Moves the ball to the 34. Good job of reading the blitz here by the quarterback. And it doesn't matter where it's coming from. The tight end knows that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an outlet. Anytime you see that kind of pressure, those extra bodies are starting to come after the quarterback. The quarterback's going to turn and get the ball out of his hands quickly, this time to the tight end for the first down. The pass rush closing in. He launches too high, out of bounds, and incomplete. Man, if I'm this offense, Chris, I stay aggressive. I know they didn't connect there, but keep testing this defense. Keep challenging, because if you do connect on that one, it could be a game-breaking play. And he's going to float this one to the right side. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. So the coach will decide to settle for three points here. Out comes the field goal unit. And he's made it from 50 yards out, showing off the deep range. Boy, this guy had plenty of leg here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. We come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. 
And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. This game has suddenly gotten more interesting, so this offense needs to be productive here. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. After the first down loss, it's second and long from the 22. To throw, it's Milrow. It's the running back in the flat. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Running out of time in the pocket. He's looking to scramble. Breaking free at the 35. And they finally make the stop, but that's a huge gain in the scramble. He found some space and just went for it. Man, it is fun to watch this guy get out in the open field. I didn't realize he could run like this. That's a big game for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. With the catch, it's Adams. He's brought down, but a solid gain moves the ball across midfield of the 41. Well, the quarterback has just too much time against this zone. There's not enough pressure to allowing him to sit back and pick apart the zone defense. Quarterback escapes the pocket. Great cut there. And the junior decides to pick up the first down himself. These are the kind of plays that keep defensive coordinators up at night. You spend so much time putting your plan together to stop the pass, and then nobody accounts for the quarterback on a run. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football, and now it's second down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. He'll take a deep shot here. Pass caught. Can he get in? He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown. Tie. This is an ominous sign for LSU. The Crimson Tide beginning to really roll now, Kirk, and pull away here. Chris, we thought this would be a highly contested game with both these teams typically at the top of the SEC standings. But give Alabama a lot of credit. Everything going their way today. And they'll set up for the PAT. And they go up 18 after the PAT. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. They were fortunate to get points on the last possession because of a long-range field goal. Makes the grab. It's Anderson. Chris, it just feels like the offense is almost teasing the defense with this play. As an offensive coordinator quarterback, you're often looking for that soft spot in the zone. And here, they do a nice job of finding that hole for a nice game. And they try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. LSU getting set with a first and 10 coming up. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Things just appeared to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Breaks loose at the 40. Now the screen doesn't produce a first down. Good work by the defense. Now it's fourth down. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long. You drop back in coverage, keep everything in front of you, force that quarterback to have to check the ball down, and then you rally to the football to force his fourth down. Great job here by the D. 
So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Needs a completion here on fourth down. Looking for a deep completion. And it's broken up nicely. A defensive stop and a turnover on downs. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Going to run it. It's Haynes. And that run produces a decent game. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call and just keep working that clock. We'll try to run it with the option. And you'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Third down play for this offense. Looking to throw. It's Milro. Going for a big play downfield. Defense breaks it up. Nice play. Incomplete. So they're short on fourth down, and the coach decides to trot out the field goal team. And the field goal is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. So after adding to this big lead, they'll set to kick it away. Turn starts from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. Last time they gambled and lost. Went for it in fourth down in their territory and got stopped. Looking to throw it on first down. Catch made on the out route. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. A well, fourth quarter down by a couple of scores. This offense doing everything they can to not just score points, but do it in a hurry, try to preserve the clock. Here, they're tackled in bounds. They don't pick up a first down. Good job by this defense to keep that clock moving. Solid game there. Moves the ball out to the 32. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. First down here for this offense. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Caught over the middle. It's Taylor. They tackle him at the 48, but it's enough for a new first down. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. Oh, the pass is picked off. They get him down after a short return, but the takeaway sets up the offense at the 43. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. They'll try the option play here. Pitch to the back. And he's brought down, but hold on, there's a flag on the play. Let's see if the offense can overcome that holding penalty. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. He'll hand it off. And the runner brought down after just a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. Dropping back. It's Milro. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. And now it's third down. Most offensive coaches will be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man coverage. But I'm curious to see if they're going to test this DB again after that coverage. Takes the handoff. It's Miller. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. They'll kick it away here. 
Fair catch made at the 20. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Grab down the middle. It's Taylor. Hey, it's positive yards, right? That, that's never a bad thing. But let's face it, Chris. These guys got a long way to go in a short amount of time to do it. So let's get the ball downfield and let's get out of bounds to try to preserve that clock. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Empty set now. Five wide receivers. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. It's an out round. The catch made. They've got him at the 48, but that's a first down. The offense going with the hurry up. Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it. Offense has been at a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. LSU getting set with a first and ten now. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. Quarterback looking to scramble. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Fresh set of downs for the offense, first down. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but, man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. Finds his man. It's Hilton. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. LSU now operating in the red zone. Caught behind the line. It's Thomas. Nowhere to run. They'll corral him for no gain. Here's the second down play. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Caught near the sticks. It's Daniels. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Tigers! This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. Kicking team out for the PAT try. The extra point is good. They're down now 14, 24 10. Formation would indicate they're going to try the onside kick here. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. And that's the two-minute warning. And this offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this call. So the holding penalty in the offense backs him up 10 yards. Important second down play coming up. And they'll just try to run some clock here, keeping it on the ground. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. Timeout called by the defense. They'll go to the sideline and try to adjust. That's their first timeout. Using his legs, it's Haynes. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Alabama looking to convert on fourth down here. To the air, it's Milrow bringing pressure. He's brought down a sack for the defense coming up big on this fourth down play. 
Now, the quarterback's got to get the ball out of his hands. He had a lot of time back there in the pocket, looking over the field, desperately trying to find an open receiver. Nobody's open, but he still has got to take off and try to make a play. Instead, he's sacked, and it's a turnover on downs. Incomplete, so it's second down and 10. Quarterback drops back. There's a deep throw with the clock winding down. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Oh, over the middle, it's Daniels. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. Egregious roughing the passer call. Automatic first down. Let's hope the quarterback is okay. So a new set of downs to work with after the roughing the passer penalty on third down. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. And he dumps it off to the tight end. Finally out of bounds after a solid gain, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this out. Personal foul gives the offense a fresh set of downs. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And he drops back in the gun. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. You know, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. He's running out of time here. He's hit as he throws it. The game moves the football to the six-yard line. It'll be first down and goal. They move the six, but hurry to the line here on first down now. Back to throw again. Launching one to the end zone. And it's picked off in the end zone. Pass the 20. Brings the interception all the way back. Touchdown, Bama. God, this is a risky throw here. So close to the goal line. This defender makes this interception, Chris. Sometimes you see a guy hesitant. He's, he might think about taking a knee. This guy didn't. It gave him momentum and the speed that he needed to be able to get to the end zone. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point up and good. A three-touchdown lead now here in the final quarter. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And it's fielded. Returner trying to create a big play here. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. This has been a rough game for these guys. Not much left to do but play for pride. A short connection to the tight end here. They make the tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Will that holding penalty be a drive killer? First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Looking to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Short throw to the back. An easy completion. They bring him down after a short gain there. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. Now they come up to spike it to stop the clock. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Grab down the middle. It's Hilton. And a timeout taken by the defense with 30 seconds remaining. They went for it and failed on fourth down earlier. Let's see if they fare better here. 
Nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. It's a turnover. Oh, just a costly turnover here for this offense. Last thing they wanted to see is put this ball on the ground, and really any chance of getting back into this game is lost. So with the lead secure here, it's time to just take a knee, run out the clock, and plan the victory celebration. But let's be honest, all wins are not equal. You go in there and hammer your rival and get bragging rights. That's sweet, man. Yeah, this one is a little bit different. I mean, this is a game you anticipate, you look forward to the entire offseason. You're thinking about it. Now you get a big win against your rival. You're riding that high much longer than your standard win. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.